it's sort of that's my main gig. That's 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 sort of always what I wanted to do. Have you had any conversations with uh, Mark Ruffalo, who's also in your category? And the internet's kind of going crazy that Wolverine and the Hulk are up against each other once again. <laughs> I tried to reach out to him. He's not taking my calls. So I guess oh. the, uh, <laughs> I'm somehow laying the track for another feud here, which, thank goodness, we're not in the same room together. I mean, that dragged down fight <laughs> on camera. Actually, I think I'm laughing because Mark's a very good friend of mine and I actually haven't spoken to him about it. Um, I, he's absolutely astonishing in his show. I mean, I think he's just one of the best actors of certainly of our generation and has, you know, always has been so. But Wolverine would beat him, for sure. Let's just be very clear. <laughs> well, he's got Amy. claws, absolutely. Yeah. For sure. He'd just, he'd just knock, he, he would literally cut him off at the knees. <laughs> I didn't, did, I don't know if you know this, but uh, maybe it, but the Wolverine actually appeared first in a, in a whole comic. He was like a last page, some guy coming. So it was the Hulk series that he appeared. And so that's where that sort of feud came from. And then Wolverine sort of, really took on this whole life. So yeah, I'm sure the Hulk is very jealous. Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. This is going to be my new Marvel Wolverine video. As you see Hugh Jackman there talking about Hulk versus Wolverine movies. So we'll break it down. There's a bunch of funny Easter eggs in there. I love that he knows his history too. He knows all about Wolverine and Hulk's history in the comics. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. We'll do a new Amazon giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and let me know where you want them to introduce the new version of the Wolverine in the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. The really cool thing about all this is that Mark Ruffalo has actually been working on getting some Hulk versus Wolverine stuff going in the MCU. I'll just number these as we go along, starting with the really big stuff first. Number five. So Hugh Jackman being interviewed here for some upcoming awards where he's competing against Mark Ruffalo for their recent work. It is cool to know that they're friends in real life, even though they're rivals in this sense. And they talk about the rivalry between the Hulk and Wolverine in the comics and the upcoming rivalry in future Marvel Phase 4, Marvel Phase 5 movies. Since Marvel got all those X-Men characters back, they can do a more comic book authentic backstory for the new version of Wolverine the MCU. Fox could do all the Weapon X stuff, but they could never do any of the Hulk or Avengers, Captain America, Weapons Plus related stuff, so you're missing a huge part of Wolverine's origin story. So the interviewer asks him if he's ever got into it with Mark Ruffalo as friends about Hulk versus Wolverine, and he goes on to joke about who would actually win in that fight, like Wolverine would win hands down. Of course Hugh Jackman is going to say that Wolverine would win, and he has won many times in the past. Just think of old man Logan when he let himself get eaten by the older, twisted version of the Hulk and just clawed his way out. And even though Hugh Jackman admitted that when he originally took the role as Wolverine, he didn't know anything about Wolverines in real life, he didn't think it was a real animal, and he didn't know anything about his comic book origin. But over the years, he eventually learned all that stuff, and now he knows about Hulk's connection to Wolverine's original debut in the comics. So number four, the story that he's talking about during that clip, Wolverine showing up as the shadowy figure revealed at the end of an Incredible Hulk comic book, is actually from Incredible Hulk number 180. He had been dispatched by the US government and the Canadian government to take down the Incredible Hulk who had crossed over the border into Canada and was just on this big rampage. Then in the next issue, Incredible Hulk number 181, that's where you actually full on see Wolverine for the first time in his costume and they beat the crap out of each other and it becomes the beginning of a long running rivalry between the two of them with them having a bunch of rematches in different comics through the years. Then what happened after that original debut in the Incredible Hulk comic book is eventually Marvel created more of a backstory for Wolverine because he became a super popular character. Like Hugh Jackman says, the character kind of went on to have his own life. They retconned in all the Weapon X stuff, and then later they also tweaked that a little more to introduce the concept of the Weapons Plus program, which tied Wolverine's origins way back to Captain America's origin in the Super Soldier program in the 1940s. So it's all about connecting Wolverine's origin story to pre-existing Avengers character origins. In number three, if you haven't seen it, they've actually already adapted the original Hulk vs. Wolverine fight from Incredible Hulk 181 to an animated movie. It's a really short movie, it's just called Hulk vs. Wolverine. It's exactly what it sounds like. Obviously most of us want Kevin Feige and Marvel to get to something similar in the MCU movies eventually. They've actually been working up to that moment for longer than you think. There are actually a bunch of Wolverine easter eggs and references connecting him to MCU Hulk going all the way back to the Marvel Phase 1 movies, like the Incredible Hulk movie and Captain America the First Avenger movie with Chris Evans. 
The Incredible Hulk Easter egg is a little more relevant to what's happening during Marvel Phase 4 with the new movies and the Disney Plus series like Falcon and Winter Soldier, but it's just a continuation of more Easter eggs from Captain America the First Avenger. So you can kind of see that Kevin Feige has been trying to lay the track work for Wolverine and the MCU for a long, long time, 10 plus years almost. During Captain America the First Avenger, they do the Captain America origin story, everybody knows it, Super Soldier program. Later in that movie, because Wolverine, James Howlett, was alive and fought during World War II, Kevin Feige said that he had tried to get a Hugh Jackman cameo in this Captain America scene of him rescuing all the Howling Commandos. Wolverine would not have been a Howling Commando, he would have just been another regular soldier trying to keep his mutant powers on the DL. Obviously you can guess the reason why he didn't actually show up in the movie, why that wound up not happening, because it was when Fox was still planning more Wolverine spin-off movies in the vein of Wolverine Origins and the Wolverine after that. The number two, later in the Incredible Hulk movie, Thunderbolt Ross reveals to the Abomination that he himself turned the original Super Soldier program because it was a military program into the Weapons Plus program, or he evolved the program continuing to work to try and enhance U.S. soldiers for combat. That's the whole point of the Weapons Plus program, the Super Soldier program. Bigger, better soldiers. He also revealed that he had been lying to Bruce Banner, who had been working for him with his gamma research, and the purpose of his gamma research was actually part of the Weapons Plus program to make bigger, better soldiers. He was going to use that gamma research in combination with the diluted form of the Super Soldier serum that he was pulling out of those cryo tanks. Dr. Reinstein that you see on the label here, that's actually the true name of Dr. Erskine, the person who created the original Super Soldier Serum and gave it to Captain America. That doesn't necessarily make the Hulk one of the weapons plus, but you could argue that he kind of is one because he accidentally got his powers during the weapons plus program. We all know Wolverine is called Weapon X, but the X actually stands for Roman numeral 10. He's the 10th version of the weapons plus program. The reason why he was created in Canada is because the Canadians became a lesser part of the later Weapons Plus experiments. But because the MCU tries to simplify a lot of characters' backstories just to make it easier to digest, the new version of Wolverine and the new version of the Weapon X program in the MCU can be something that Thunderbolt Ross is involved with in a much bigger way. During the Falcon and Winter Soldier series, which hopefully we'll get to see before the end of the year, a huge part of the plot is the Weapons Plus program being reactivated in Falcon and Winter Soldier trying to stop it. Like look at US Agent here, he gets a version of that Super Soldier Serum and is part of the Weapons Plus program that Thunderbolt Ross reactivates, so that'll just be the continuation of what you saw during Incredible Hulk on the path to Weapon X. And while we're talking about Weapon X stuff, that program, Weapons Plus, is also the path to Red Hulk, Thunderbolt Ross, and the Thunderbolts team. The number one, even though Hugh Jackman has said that he's kind of retired from being Wolverine and doesn't plan on doing a ton more movies, Mark Ruffalo has said that he's actually talked to Marvel about doing a Hulk vs. Wolverine project. He's been pitching Kevin Feige on new movies and Incredible Hulk revival Disney Plus series. The one thing that makes it harder for them to do a Hulk vs. Wolverine legit movie is because Universal still holds part of the rights to the Hulk characters, so they can't really do a Hulk solo movie again yet, but they can do a Thor Ragnarok style crossover movie with a ton of Hulk in it. And even though it sounds weird, they can't put Hulk in the title of a movie right now. The rules and rights situation is kind of strange, but eventually Marvel will work all that stuff out, so I think that by the time they're actually ready to make a new Wolverine movie, that really won't be an issue anymore. The next place that Mark Ruffalo's Bruce Banner Hulk is supposed to show up is on the She-Hulk series as part of her origin. He didn't say how many episodes he'd be in, but they're actually working out that new contract for him right now. But let me know in the comments, do you think that Marvel will do Hulk vs. Wolverine in an upcoming Avengers movie, like Avengers 6, or do you think that they'll try and save that for its own movie or Disney Plus series? Congratulations Von Doom, you're the giveaway winner from my last big New Mutants movie review. Please email me on the about page of my channel so I can get your contact details. In sadder news, you all probably saw that Chadwick Boseman recently passed away. There's a special that Disney and Marvel are doing on ABC tonight. I don't really know what the content of that's going to be, but I might make a video for it next week. I've already done a tribute video for Chadwick Boseman. You can click here to watch that. May he rest in power. And you can click here for my Marvel New Mutants movie review. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.